This former rebel with the Tamil Tigers, or LTTE, surrendered to the Sri Lankan military at the end of the war in 2009. He was one of 12,000 fighters who were put through government rehabilitation programs. They told us this is how we must be when we get back into society. He wants to go to the south to work, but is afraid his war wound and inability to speak Sinhalese, the language spoken in the south, may make him a target for abuse or even arrest. We once fought for the cause, now we are fighting to live. If I start walking around, they will see I am different. We were told the government would give us this and that, but it hasn't happened. Just over five years after the war ended, and there seems to be little trust of the government among Tamils here. The government says it's helping develop the north, but there are few obvious signs of that. This is the new Jaffna railway station. But the workers we spoke to were all Sinhalese from the south. The military has reopened some stretches of the coast to local fishermen, but continues to occupy other areas. And many Tamils are angered by what they say is the government's cultural insensitivity. The Buddhist temple behind me was actually destroyed by the LTTE during the war. Now it's subsequently been rebuilt. The Tamil Hindus who live here in Jaffna say that rebuilding Buddhist shrines and temples like these is actually hindering the reconciliation process. It's not just Tamil Hindus who say this is inappropriate. There are many among the Christian and Muslim Tamils who agree. They are afraid the word development actually means the government taking their land. If they show some real interest in reconciliation, the Tamil politicians would have responded favorably. But so far, there was no gesture, no attempt to win the confidence of the Tamil people. The military commander of Jaffna says Tamil society often rejects former rebels. He says when over 7,000 Tamil men and women applied to join the army on the first day of recruitment in Jaffna, the Tamil provincial administration tried to persuade locals not to join up. We are trying to connect the south with the north, so the military is going to the maximum, I should say, in order to help people. All my men in Jaffna Peninsula have been trained to speak Tamil. All have been trained, so that will take little time. Just about everyone you speak to in Jaffna, including former LTT fighters, say life is getting better since the end of the war. But there seems to be a long way to go for both sides before there's meaningful and lasting trust. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Jaffna, Northern Sri Lanka.